Perti, great to join you here you know, at your stand live at MIPIM 2024. Um, what's your take on MIPIM? We're on day four now, so I, I suppose, what's your overall take on the mood and what have you heard? Yeah, Richard, always pleasure to meet you and have a, share my views. So first of all, uh, I think uh, it's been more optimistic than last year. Uh, even that we have had less people here, but uh, they have had a more optimistic uh, view for the for the markets. Uh, one uh, other thing is that um, people are also thinking that there will be maybe three rate cuts. Uh, ECB will maybe cut uh, rates three times, and that should uh, improve the liquidity for the markets. Uh, second thing is that uh, geopolitics is uh, is really uh, one of the top topics. So geopolitics is economics for breakfast and if the situation in Ukraine getting worse then of course uh, people will start to uh, be more concerns uh, and uh, maybe the investments go back to the sidelines and and then maybe a third one to say is that uh, there is still uh, quite a lot of uh, liquidity on the market so that when the time is right uh, then the people will enter into the market so this is maybe a good time to start to think about investments into real estate again um, and looking at that that leads us on in a way to to the sectors um, I, I guess what are you seeing in terms of those that are potentially outperforming what's what's your sense of that yeah. we are very uh, confident for the logistics uh, we believe that the next five years logistics will out outperform other 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 sectors. Another sector is residential or living as a whole and then also a new economic type of investments like data centers and, and student housings and so forth. Seems to be that there's a good appetite for those sectors as well. Uh, what is uh, out of the scope so to say is offices. That's not really the flavor of the month. Uh, some investors are maybe thinking about entering because now it's maybe uh, you can buy cheaply. So yeah, that's where we are. In the offices one is an interesting mm. point. A, a big focus, obviously, on what's happening in the states there, but also quite a bifurcation in the market um, when we look at sustainability mm. in terms of the office markets. So what's your take there? Well, a um, lot of people understand that we have a lot of obsolete uh, office buildings uh, around and they are trying to improve those and they will sell some of those and, and some of those will be refurbished for the future use, fitting the ESG requirements in the future as well. And that's what we are also doing in, in, in London and in the UK, so that we are refurbishing some office buildings for the future, fitting for the future requirements. So that is one uh, for the offices, definitely. And then, of course, uh, new modern uh, developments uh, can be uh, new materials like wood and other, other environmental friendly materials uh, that people are also putting more and more focus. And um, it would be interesting to pick up a little bit as well on capital raising, which has been challenging, obviously, over the past couple yeah. of years. So what's the sense of where we are in the market at the moment? Are you beginning to see capital raising becoming more of an opportunity now as people begin to have a slightly more positive view in terms of the market turning? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a lot of investors are saying that later this year or, or early 2025 they will start to really put the money into the into the work what we are uh, real estate is competing is with the real estate debt and private debt products that's for sure at the moment but there's a, a clearly a light at the end of the tunnel so I, we, we do hope that that is uh, improving more than it has been <laughs> improving recently so interesting to get that positive take and that's certainly something that i've been picking up as well here yeah. in Cannes. thanks very much for joining us thank you very much richard always pleasure to talk with you